Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be going over some static blocks and some widgets. So, if we come to the dashboard here and we go to CMS, we went over pages last time, uh, you'll see that there's these other things called static blocks or widgets. Let's take a look. Um, if you might have noticed in the last tutorial when I went down here at my footer, in these links here, you saw this word test. Well, this isn't going to be on your install because I had done this some other time. Um, where that is, is actually in the, the CMS static blocks and then footer links. So if we go to footer links here, you can see it's a list of all your footer links. And um, if you remember when we changed the URL of about us, uh, we changed it to just about hyphen us. That link didn't actually change in the footer. So if you're changing um, a URL key of a page like that, you're going to have to come in here where it's linking and we're going to have to change that. I'm just going to click on show hide editor because you can see the source. If you notice here, I changed the URL to be about us. So now it's going to be linking correctly. Uh, we'll notice if we click this, it's taking us to the right site, the right uh, URL key here. But if you change that and uh, your footer link is now not working, that's why. You have to come into the static block and change it. Let's take a look at what other static blocks there are. Um, built into the sample data, you'll have this electronics landing and cell phones landing. Um, let's go to the electronics page. Uh, I've replaced this with test. Let's go to the, um, I think it was cell phone. Yeah, um, no, that's not right. Yeah, cell phones landing. Let's check this one out. So this is just really this image. If we show this, um, it's a Sony Ericsson. Um, image. So if we click back here, you'll see that this right here, this in particular is the cell phone landing static block. So a static block is really just a chunk of code that's not going to change that you can say show up. Um, if you're used to using something like Drupal that features blocks of code as well, you know, you're also uh, might be familiar with that. This is very similar. Um, so a static block um, is it just a block of code? But by default, you know, if you create a static block, it's not going to show up anywhere. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a static block, and then using widgets, we're going to tell it where to show up. Okay, so let's create a static block. I'm going to add a new block. It's up here in the top right, and I'm going to just call this um, test block, and you know the identifier. We'll just keep this as test, and then we want this available for all store views, and it's going to be enabled. And all I really want is just some code to make sure this works. So test, whatever. You can use the WYSIWYG editor here to have this looking like how you want, adding images or whatever. So let's click Save Block. Okay. So now our block's here, um, but it's not going to show up anywhere. We can go all over the site and you'll never see it. So what we need to do now is create a widget. Let's go to Widgets here. It's under CMS. And we're going to click Add New Widget Instance. And this is going to be the type. So if you notice here, there's CMS page link. So this can be a link to anything CMS static block, which of course is what we just made and what we're going to want. But you can also have category list, new product list, any of these options that are built in here, orders and returns, whatever. But we want to show our static block. So what a widget is, is it's really just a chunk of code and you're saying where to display it on the website through this widgets instance. So design package theme, um, this is important. You want to make sure this is the theme that you're using for your site. If you select the wrong one, it will not show up. We're using default default. So I'm going to pick that and we're going to click continue. Okay. And the instance title, and this is just be test because it's just a test right now. Um, the sort order is how, you know, high up it's going to display if the, um, the, you know, the sort order of other widget instances in the same block. So if you have a bunch of widgets in the same block, the sort order is going to matter um, in which order they're showing up. So now down here, we need to add a layout update. This is actually where you're telling the uh, static block to show up. So we're going to click add layout update and we're going to display this on, let's go to specified page. Um, if you notice, you can see all product types, anchor categories, any of this stuff, but we're going to do specified page and we want this to show up on. So look at all these options you have here. You can, you know, do all sorts of stuff, but we want this to show up on all CMS pages. Uh, so any page that's created like a CMS, like, um, yeah, uh, the, you know, the home page or the customer service page, any of those, um, and the block reference is going to be the actual position. Let's put this in the left column. If you notice here, there's main content, navigation bar, page footer, any of that stuff, but we just want this in the left column. And then 
under widget options here on the left is where you actually select which block. Because up until now, we haven't told it which block we want to use. So let's click select block. And if you notice, we could even put these footer links anywhere. Uh, but let's click test block because that's the one we want. And let's save this. Oh, it looks like I didn't click all store views. Okay, so let's save this. And okay, so the widget instance has been saved. Although you may be getting this uh, warning up here. It says one or more ty uh, cache types are invalidated. So basically your cache uh, site is now different than what the content that you're showing is. So we want to clear this cache so that we see what we expect to see. You can just click on this cache management. It's going to take you to this page right here. And we're going to click flush Magento cache. Actually, let me refresh this so it can be more like what you're seeing. And you'll see it says invalidated block HTML because we changed a block general, general uh, cache layout. So let's flush these, just this red button here. Okay. So Magento caches, everything should say enabled. And let's go to the uh, customer service page, okay? We go here and you look down here in the left column, it says test, 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 test. Okay, so this is our static block right here. If you were to put any sort of HTML or any image or whatever, it would show up here as well. Notice how uh, you have great control over that. You can put that wherever you want. Um, we could put it in the main, you could put it anywhere. That's great. Well, let's go to our home page because it's supposed to be in the left column there too. Okay, you might notice that it's not here. This is actually because this page is using a custom XML layout. If we were go to go to, um, let's go here under CMS pages and we go to the home page and you click design, you'll notice that it's using a two column with a right bar, um, which is not really what we see. This bit of chunk of code here is actually adding this custom left bar. If you were to go through and delete this stuff, you'd see all sorts of changes. But let's go to three columns and let's get rid of this. Um, actually, let me copy this. Okay, now let's save this page. And now let's refresh our home page and we should be seeing something a little different. Sure enough, there is our test, 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 test code. Of course, this is all sort of messed up because um, it was using some sort of like special code before and now it's not. So you're gonna wanna be adjusting your um, your uh, your content and your, your CSS to sort of, you know, figure out what's going on here. But this is why this wouldn't have shown up. If your pages are using a custom layout type, uh, it may not show up because the custom layout type was not including a left column, okay? So that is how you create a static block and how you get it to show using a widget. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Uh, let us know what you want to see. Um, pretty much anything. We love getting comments. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, this is Scott, and have a good one. Bye.